Well, this weekend, Dateline Schools, we're taking a look at the mental health of our students and our children right now, especially as this COVID-19 pandemic continues to roll on. And to give us some insight, my special guest is the Children's Program Supervisor for St. Clair County Community Mental Health, Melissa Hunt. And Melissa, I know one of the things that our kids are facing a lot are several hours a day of screen time because of what we're doing with school, with the remote learning that we're doing. How much do you think the stress of working online is adding to the mental health issues you described yesterday uh, that our children are facing today? Um, I definitely think it has an increase, even though, you know, we know our kids love screen time and they love <laughs> games and all that. It's not quite the same. And I think, Terry, with the change, you know, it's a completely different way of learning. Um, this is not what they're used to. You know, they're used to having a teacher there and somebody to kind of guide them through that. Um, and so I think that 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 causes stress in itself. You know, we all we know that change causes stress. And so um, having that different format um, and not being used to it, I think definitely can increase the stress um, that our kids are facing. And my guess is too, going from had the abrupt stop to the school year in March, came back, started face to face in most districts in September, here we are back in remote learning again in November, and some of the districts are still slowly working back to face to face now that we're here in the beginning of the school of the uh, new calendar year. Yeah, like for us as adults, we know the unknown is kind of the part that really is struggling, you know. Um, and you're right, we're having those those changes and so many changes in such a short period of time. Um, the best way, again, that parents can support that we talked about yesterday, supporting children through these changes, is giving them as much structure and routine as you can possibly provide for them um, as we get used to this new normal. Yeah. Are you finding it uh, more of an impact for the younger kids versus, say, the middle school, elementary, or high school kids? Um, I think, well, I, I think it kind of depends. Um, you know, for some high schoolers, we've seen uh, kids that have been in services and they, they struggled and now they're home and they don't have as many struggles. Um, and for other kids, it's increased their struggles. Um, so it's a difficult question to answer in regards to that. I think it's really individualized for each child. Um, and just kind of keeping note of that with your own child. Um, what do you see that's changing? What's different um, would be would be the key to knowing what, what to look for in their own behaviors. Right. We'll be back with more tomorrow. For Dateline Schools, I'm Terry Harrington.